Hey everyone, it's been a few months since we've done a video and I wanted to take some time to pause and explain why. So it's been a crazy past four months. Um, around mid-July, I had a bit of a heat incident out here in the garden and I ended up in the emergency room. And uh, at the time we were uh, thinking about buying um, a larger property, like an acreage, and we were gonna think about <coughs> starting a, a farm or maybe trying to do something like that. And Anyway, I took it as a sign that I had no business doing that. And around that time, I went out to lunch with some guys that I work with, and they um, basically inspired me to start building a mobile app. Um, it's kind of been the dream I've had since I started doing all this. And I dove in, and Carrie and I started building it. And I'm proud to say that now uh, it is now available on iOS and Android. And so it has over 40 different vegetables in it, and it will take you uh, through how to how to plant it, how to grow it, how to water it, how to fertilize it. Basically, everything that we know about growing food and everything that we've done in our garden, when uh, you know transforming our backyard into this, it's everything we've learned through that we put into this mobile app. So we've uh, built a database of pests in the garden. So we've gone through and we've identified all the all the major pests we've encountered, and that uh, we've kind of done some research on what other people have encountered. And we've done a lot of homework on trying to figure out um, what the best way to, to handle pests are. A lot of it's through uh, our own experience. Um, but also, yeah, so you can go through and you can look at pests and you can look them up either by name or you can um, go through and, and look at the pictures. So you can look at the pictures of both the larva and the adult, which makes it helpful if you don't really know what the pest is called. You just know what it looks like. So uh, that's another feature within the app that we've added. And we have a lot of other features that we're really excited about adding that we're working on now. So um, we would love to have the ability to um, add a, uh, a date that you planted something and then we can use how much it's rained around you in order to help you along the way and help you know when to water and when to fertilize and all that kind of stuff. So that's the kind of stuff we're working on. Uh, if you want to support us and help us with this, just share the app with your friends. Uh, leave us a review. Um, you know, we'll rate us in the stores that really helps us out. We struggled with the decision about if we should charge for this or make it free and, and ultimately, um, you know, we, our goal from the beginning has been to do something to make an impact on the world. And we feel like by giving the, the app away uh, for free, that's the best way for us to do that. So that's what we've done. So the app is free. Um, I'll tell you now, the way that we can hopefully make money on this and support ourselves with it is through the, the links that we have in the app. So there's Amazon links to things that we buy, things that we use in the garden all the time, things like our motion activated sprinkler, um, our automatic water timer, just, you know, things that we use to handle pests, just all sorts of things like that all throughout the app. So if you need to buy something like that, just click those links to buy it. So um, anyway, um, that's where we've been the past four months. I'm really excited for everyone to see it. We've put a lot of hard work into it. My goal is to build software for gardeners. And my hope is that I can continue to make uh, these things free and that we can continue to help people. Um, and just rely on you know you guys helping us out by sharing the app with other with your friends with with other people and with clicking on links um, writing a review in the app store would be a huge help for us as well and uh, we're gonna get started with blog posts again soon now uh, carrie and i have been writing some uh, we just need to get them out and then we're gonna start you can see what the garden looks like now uh, it's not not great um i haven't been outside that much so that's kind of here carrie yeah you know, <laughs> Um, so we haven't really done much out here, but I do have some stuff still growing <coughs> through here. So anyway, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff to get everything cleaned up through here. And we're going to be growing all the stuff we normally do in the spring, um, starting actually here pretty soon. I've already got cover crops that we planted around. So uh, I've gained about 30 pounds from being inside, staring at the computer way too much the past four months. So I'm going to try and balance that out now and fix it. We're on a mission to make it possible for anyone to grow food that wants to. And we feel like this mobile app is our first step in making that a reality. So uh, thank you to everyone that supported us along the way. Um, sorry, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> That's kind of a big moment for us. Um, anyway, uh, thank you and uh, let me know what you think.